Hi everybody! I got something fun to show ya! Hey stick figure! Can you bring in my new letter board? Wow, it looks great! Why do they gotta make these things so heavy? Sorry stick figure, but letters, well, they do carry a lot of weight! So what's your plan with the new board? I'm gonna make words out of words, and show people how they can anagram for the truth! Do you think you can help me with the letters? Oh no... Oh no, moving around those letters is gonna break my back! Well, what do you think stick figure? Can you help? Well, I think I got a bellyache. I was gonna go lay down for a while. Well, I hope you feel better after you lay down. I guess I can figure out the remote control by myself. Remote control? What remote control? Who? The one that came in the box to move around the letters. You mean all I would have to do is push a few buttons? Yep, that's it. Just push buttons. Well, heck, I feel better already. Dang, who? What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Okay, you go get the remote control out of the box, and I'll start telling everybody about anagrams. Anagrams can be fun. Anagrams can be spooky. Now let me see here. Okay, up, down, left, right. Alright, I got this. I got this. Scan the up and down arrows to get the letter we want, and then just hit the green button and it goes up on the board. Gee, I sure hope he helps me spell these words. Okay, stick figure, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's put the word phrase the alphabet up on the board. Give me a T. Give me a H. Give me a E. On the next line, give me a A. Give me a L. Give me a P. Give me a H. Give me a A. Good job, stick figure. Now on the last line, give me a B, an E, and a T. Boy, that was pretty dang easy. I could do that all day long. Okay, so now we have our word phrase, the alphabet, up on the board. Now we all know how useful the alphabet is. So there's no wonder that the word help is in that word phrase, the alphabet. And with all the letters left over, we can make the word phrase, that be a help. You could clear the board now, stick figure. Just push the red button. Okay, so remember how I told you that sometimes anagrams can be spooky? Well, now we're gonna do a spooky anagram. Are you ready, stick figure? Yeah, go ahead. I'm ready. Let's get Anthony Hopkins' name up on the board. I don't know if you people saw Silence of the Lambs. That Anthony Hopkins sure is spooky in there. So there's really no surprise that we could find the word spooky in his name. And with the letters left over, we get a nickname of Hannibal Lecter. That's right, Anthony Hopkins can anagram into the phrase and the spooky Hanny. You don't need an E to make the the. We already know it's there. Uh-oh, I feel a nightmare coming on. I better clear that board quick. I told you anagrams could be spooky. Okay, now let's do a fun anagram. Some of you might know who that is in that picture. Some of you are too young to know who that is in that picture. But his name is Dean Martin, and he was a really, really, really cool guy. Sang, danced, told jokes. Just real cool. Really, really cool. So, stick figure, can we get that name Dean Martin up on the board? We need a D-E-A-N, and then we need an M-A-R-T-I-N. When you know how cool Dean Martin really is, there's no surprise that his hit name can anagram into Om Darn Neat. So you see, anagrams can be spooky, they can be fun, and they're always about the truth. But don't ever forget that the alphabet can anagram into that be a help. A, B, C, it's easy as one, two, three. I got stick figure do an anagram with me. A, B, C, it's easy as one, two, three. Hey, stick figure, you were pretty good on those buttons. You found out all by yourself that the right and left buttons moved the letters around. I know, who. It was pretty darn easy. I'm like Dean Martin. I'm pretty darn neat. Will you do me a favor, Hoot? What's that, stick figure? Do you try not to make any more spooky anagrams?